When building out your home studio, most people tell you to invest in mics, guitars, and instruments. One piece of extremely important gear that's often skipped over is the preamps. Well, let's see if we can't change that. Today, we're going to be comparing two distinct high-end preamps alongside a standard interface preamp. Hi, I'm Logan Duvall, one of the co-founders of Roseflower Records, a channel dedicated to supporting independent artists, musicians, and creatives. Today, the spotlight is on preamps. While there are a multitude of various preamps for sale, we have three distinct preamps that we will be comparing. Our first and cheapest preamp is the Focusrite 18i20 version 3, coming in at a retail price of $4.99. Now, I know what you're thinking. Logan, that's an interface, not a preamp, you big dummy. Well, first off, rude. But more importantly, yes, it is an interface. However, almost all interfaces come with a built-in preamp to allow you to plug microphones directly into the interface. So, while we'll be only looking at its preamp today, keep in mind that for $4.99, you're getting a whole lot more than just a preamp. Next up, we have the Rupert Neve 511 preamp, selling at a retail price of $6.99. <laughs> First thing I need to mention about this preamp is that it is built for the 500 series format, meaning that in order to use it, you will need to invest in a 500 series chassis. If you want to know more about the 500 series, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video going in depth. Finally, our last preamp of today is the Universal Audio 710 Twinfinity, coming in at a whopping retail price of $999.99. While it's the most expensive preamp we will be looking at today, it's for good reason, as the 710 has the ability to be either a tube or solid state preamp, as well as use a blend of both, giving it a wide spectrum of characteristics. Let's go a little more in depth into each of these, continuing with the UA710. Now, I just mentioned how it can use both tubes and a solid state transistor to create a unique sound, but that's not the only feature it has. It also has a 15 dB pad for those extra loud instruments, a 75 Hz high pass filter labeled low cut, and a direct input on the front of the preamp for ease of access. All of these combined allow for great versatility and warm modern tone to its recordings. Now, let's shift the topic to the Neve 511 and some of its features. While the 511 may not have the ability to blend a tube and a solid state sound, what it does have is the silk function. The silk function changes the input from a solid state circuit to a transformer based circuit, which imparts a warmer and more harmonically rich character, and adds a touch of analog warmth. Finally, let's discuss the Focusrite 18i20. While it does not have the ability to switch away from its transformer, it does have a feature they have called air. As you might be able to tell from the name, it boosts the high frequency response of the preamp, making the audio signal sound more open-ended, or airy. While these three preamps come in a variety of shapes and sounds, they all have a few things in common. The most obvious of these is that they all perform the function of a preamp, no duh, to boost and shape the microphone signals in recording studios or other live sound applications in order to increase the quality and volume of the sound. Another, more important similarity is that they all have the ability to provide phantom power. But while they are similar in many, many ways, there are a few key differences that just cannot be sidestepped. The first of which is the characteristics of each preamp. While the UA710 is a Class A transformer coupled preamp, the Neve 511 is a Class A transistor based preamp, and the Focusrite 18i20 is a transformer based multi channel preamp. It means while the 511 uses a transistor and the 18i20 uses a transformer to shape the signal, the UA710 is a transistor that is coupled or connected to a tube, which helps to shape the sound. The next key difference is the tone of each sound. The Neve 511 is known for its vintage, musical tones, while the UA710 is a much more modern, transparent preamp. The Focusrite 18i20, on the other hand, is a versatile preamp that can handle a wide range of recording tasks, but loses some quality with this versatility. While these three preamps are pretty great on their own, there are a few additional pieces of gear that we will need to use. To keep the comparisons fair, I will be using the same setup for each recording. For my microphone, I will be using the Blue Baby Bottle SL microphone. If you want to see me compare this microphone with a Shure SM57, then make sure you watch the last episode of Cheap vs. Expensive, where I compared both microphones. For my interface, well, I'm using the Focusrite 18i20. Now, before you rush to the comments screaming, it's not fair because he used one of the preamps as the interface. It's literally built to do both. And also, I won't be using the built-in preamp while using the other preamps. So there, problem solved. Let's move on to the recordings. This first recording is me singing through the chorus of the song Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Let's listen. I can buy myself flowers. Write my name in the sand Talk to myself for hours Say things you don't understand 
I can take myself dancing, and I can hold my own hand. First thing of note to me is the boominess that is present in the 18i20 that is not present in the 511 or the 710, thanks to the high pass filters on both. While the 18i20 has a darker, warm tone, the 710 provides a rich, warm tone to the voice that I would almost describe as silky. The 511 provides a much brighter and more vintage vocal character to the sound. Let's move on to the second recording. This recording is me playing a simple progression on my acoustic guitar. Hit it. I don't know who I pointed to. Something that I noticed pretty quickly after listening was that while the 18i20 and the 511 both give the guitar a nice warm tone, they both pick up a lot more of the sharper pick sounds of the guitar than the 710 does. The 710 gives the guitar this rich, harmonic character without it sounding muddy, and removes some of those bright sounds. The 511 does give a nice vintage character, but I personally think it is better suited for electric guitar rather than acoustic. For this third and final recording, I'll be playing a chord progression on none other than the GE Accordion Piano. Let's play the trap. All three preamps here do a quite good job at recording the accordion piano, with each of them giving a slightly different sound to the recording. While I like the richness that the 710 gives to the accordion, it doesn't quite capture all of the high end of the same way the 511 does. This leads to the 710 having a similar issue to the 18i20 in my opinion, where they both lose out on some of the harmonics that are located in the high end of the audio. So overall, while the Focusrite 18i20 does a solid job of keeping up, it just doesn't quite make it into the same tier as the Ne 511 or the UA710. Both the 710 and the 511 give a nice, warm character to their sound, with the 511 geared more towards a vintage tone, and the 710 built to give a rich, modern sound. So, to give a quick summary, while all three of these preamps do provide solid boosting and shaping of audio like they said they would, the Ne 511 and especially the UA710 provide a quality and versatility that just cannot be beaten by the Focusrite 18i20. And that's okay! The 18i20 wasn't built to be the world's best preamp, it was built to be an interface. So if all you have is an interface and you are looking to upgrade the quality of recordings, I would start saving to invest in a good preamp. Just make sure that your interface has a line input, otherwise it won't really work out in your favor. Thank you all for watching! If you have ideas or suggestions for what kind of gear you want to see me compare next, leave it down in the comments. Or you can join our Discord to let us know directly, as well as interact with other talented, independent artists and producers. We also livestream on YouTube every Wednesday from 6pm to 8pm PST. Again, I'm Logan Duvall, and I hope you've enjoyed.